Hello, this is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry. This is the prophetic word for 2020. The Father says today that the word for 2020 is, As in heaven, so on earth. In Lazarus and the rich man's case, there was a great gulf that kept hell at bay. But your life is not intended to be a living hell. The Father says to you, I have placed a gulf, a hedge around you to keep hell at bay and all of its influences. It is a hedge held intact by the shed blood of the cross to protect you, says God, to keep you, says God, and to preserve you in every aspect of your life. I keep hell back by this means, but beloved, I have done nothing to keep heaven from coming to earth in your life in this season and in the year ahead. Heaven is pressing into your life this year. There is no fixed barrier between heaven and earth other than that which your prayers traverse to open by your faith the floodgates of my goodness to allow the pouring out of my as in heaven so on earth reality in your life in your relationships and every area of concern that touches your existence. There is no lack in the heavens, says the Father. Therefore I would, and I have made provision that there be no lack in your life in 2020. There is no poverty, no scarcity, or deficiency of any kind. There is no anxiety or basis for concern. That is the dwelling place. That is the twenty. enter into your 2020 dwelling place that I have prepared for you. This is your entering in time. Your entering in time is now. There is no sickness in heaven. Therefore, there is no part of my plan for your life, beloved, in 2020 that includes sickness. Sickness is excluded from your life in 2020. Torment is excluded from your life in 2020. Pain is excluded from your life in 2020. The enemy, yes, he attempts to come in through broken down hedges, besetting sins and vulnerabilities. But beginning this day, one by one, those avenues of access the enemy would exploit are being cauterized and cut off by your faith-filled prayer. Let your mouth pray. You're going to have to make a decision, says the Father, that the cross is enough. Let this be the year. Let 2020 be the year that your decree is, I will enter into the finished work of the cross. The enemy wants you to think that there is something more in addition to the finished work of Calvary that must happen before things get better for you. That is a lie from the father of lies. I say to you, the cross is enough. Let me hear you decree to me, Father, the cross is enough. The cross opens the avenues of grace and empowerment to cause your life, according to my plan, to be a little bit of heaven to go to heaven in. Enter in by faith, says the Father, into the finished work of the cross in 2020 regarding every area of need that you have. If I did not withhold heaven's highest gift to meet your deepest need, how shall I not with him, having given to you 2,000 years ago all things that pertain unto life and godliness? I say again, my beloved, let your mouth in 2020, let your mouth pray. Your prayers are the deposit slip of glory that facilitates the cashier's check of heaven to be applied to your life, your relationships, your health, and every area of supply. 
I don't move any other way. Complaining does not move my hand. Self-pity does not provoke my heart to respond to your cry. I am a faith God. I am not a pity God. I am a faith God. I am not a complaining God. I am a faith God who responds to your exercise of the gift of faith on the inside of you that I place there to move the mountain and curse the fig tree in your life that is not producing and to bring you into the place where everything you say and do, my beloved, in 2020 will be as effective as if I said it or did it. So come out from among those that sit in the seat of the scornful. They are the do-nothings that have no other suggestion than there is nothing to do. They are blindly and foolishly waiting for the breakthrough that I invite you this day to walk into by faith and by obedience. You're going to have to change some things in your thinking in 2020, says the Father in your thinking, in your speaking, in your actions, and in your interactions with others. You want me to change your situation, and I say in 2020, change is available, but only as you cooperate with aligning faith, with the actions that do more then put you in a holding position, vainly waiting for what you must walk into according to my leading and my unveiled purpose this day and each and every day of the coming year. Things are the way they are. Things are the way they are, the way they've been in 19 because of what you've been doing. If you want something different in 2020 than what you had in 2019, beloved, you must do something different, says the Father. You are then walking into what others are vainly waiting for. Men will not tell you this, but my servants will tell you this, for it is the only key that makes the path straight and the valley to rise up and the mountain to become a plain in 2020 that your destiny might be fulfilled beyond all your expectations, says the Father. Now, God says, press into this word and make it your own. Go to fathersheartministry.net and make a donation that constitutes your point of contact with this prophetic word over your life for 2020. Every word, every word from heaven comes to pass and manifests in your life as you engage it by acts of faith. And giving, beloved, is an act of faith and it's an act of anticipation. I want you to go to propheticnow.com. I want you to sow into this 2020 word for your coming year. You can also call our office at 417-593-9802. To make your donation. Say, well, I just can't imagine I'd have to make a donation. Well, then you're excluded. Let me know how that works for you. But for those of you that have faith, for those of you that are reaching out to see a radical, more than you can ever ask or think, outcome become the substance of God's glory, I invite you to call. 417-593-9802. Ask for Katie or Georgette. They'll help you make a donation. Our mailing address, if you wish to mail in, is Father's Heart Ministry, P.O. Box 1915, Branson, Missouri, 65615. Do not be among the excluded, beloved. Be among the included by mixing this word with your faith and your giving. Remember, Every word mixed with faith immediately starts manifesting the substance. Listen, when you give of your substance, the substance of God is released back to you in answer to your faith. Your donation is your step of faith believing. Do it without hesitation. Reject the voice of doubt and embrace the overture of heaven to open this aperture of 2020 grace over your life by a willing release of your financial appreciation for what God's about to do. So into your financial blessing for 2020. 
so into the companionship. Are you tired of being single? You've been saying, where's my man? Where's my woman? Where's my wife? Where's my husband? So into the companion. Look, if you sow a penny, you'll get a penny husband. I don't think anybody wants one of those. Listen, so largely, so expansively to experience the largesse of the manifest substance of companionship that God is now bringing you. So into that healing you've been standing for for yourself or your loved one. So into the career move that you now expect to happen in 2020 because of the goodness of God you know you are experiencing in the days ahead. Listen. In 2020, when something leaves your hand to God, something leaves his hand to you. Your donation is your point of contact with the promise of God in this word to see it come to pass. There is marrow in this word. There is substance in this word to turn your life around and move things in the direction of God's fullness and God's promise. So act now and know that that action is one of the most powerful things you could do at this moment to step out of what has been in 2019 to your new bright future in God's destiny for your life in 2020. God bless you. We are here to be the prophets in your life. If you need someone to talk to, we are here for prophetic counseling. We have a staff pastor. We have a pastor that has time to talk to you. Go to fathersheartministry.net. Click on the pastoral call. We put a pastor on staff for one reason and one reason only, to be here to talk to you. Do you need somebody to talk to that understands, that will point you in the right direction, that won't speak unbelief, that will leave you upheld and moving forward in the goodness of God? Schedule a pastoral call. We are here. The Breakthrough School is now enrolling. Breakthrough School has six courses to teach you how to hear the voice of God and move in the prophetic to move into those that have a call of prophetic office. We can help you. And then we have 10 courses in Breakthrough. Breakthrough in business. Breakthrough in ministry. Breakthrough in finances. Breakthrough in parenting. Breakthrough in 10 key areas. Go to BreakthroughSchool.net. Go to BreakthroughSchool.net and sign up for these online classes that are beginning January 15th. We are here for one reason. 2 Chronicles 20.20 says, When you believe the prophets, so shall you prosper. The prophets have to give you something besides doom and gloom. If a prophet gives you doom and gloom, then doom and gloom will prosper in your life. We are here to bring you to breakthrough. We are here to pull you into an arena of life where everything you say and do becomes as effective as if God said it or did it. We want to hear from you. Go to fathersheartministry.net. Go to breakthroughschool.net. Sign up for a pastoral call. Sign up for these courses. They will change your life. God bless you.